global warming, as we all know, is real, it's urgent, and it requires immediate action. And we cannot simply solve this crisis without focusing, increasing our energy efficiency. Uh, for a nation that consumes more than 25% of the world's energy, we simply can't afford anything less. In Vermont, actually, we've shown that it can be done. We have an energy efficiency utility. It's the nation's first statewide provider of energy efficiency services. And what this pioneering energy efficiency utility has demonstrated is really quite remarkable. First, efficiency works. Thanks to a commitment to investing in efficiency and the effectiveness of Efficiency Vermont, our statewide energy requirements were reduced by 1.74% in 2007. That exceeded the projected rate of load growth, making us the first state to ever turn load growth negative. People said it couldn't be done. Vermont has done it. Second, efficiency is cost effective. The cost of efficiency, as you pointed out, is about 2.6 cents per kilowatt hour compared to 10.7 cents per kilowatt hour for comparable energy. And Vermonters save money. In 2007, uh, there was an 88 percent uh, increased savings over 2006. And third, energy efficiency is the path to reducing our carbon emissions. For 2007, Efficiency Vermont's efforts resulted in 661,000 fewer tons of CO2, 562 fewer tons of nitrogen oxides, and 1,100 fewer tons of sulfur dioxide entering the atmosphere. The goal of this committee is to reduce greenhouse gases by 80 percent by 2050. Many models suggest that energy efficiency can and must provide about 30 percent of that reduction. And to meet that target, we have to have as a goal about 3 percent reduction through efficiency each year. Now, Vermont had 2 percent last year. We can and we must begin to build the on-ramp towards a global warming solution. That on-ramp, simply put, is through efficiency. I yield back.